Okay. I say that during the beginning of every video. It gets really annoying when I look through all my video footage and I just see me saying, okay, 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 but <sighs> whatever. Um, people have habits. Okay, so I was looking through this and um, kind of like consolidating variable names and thinking about um, looking through some old code I saw that I, um, well, let's not worry about that. I was just consolidating variable names since the last video. What we want to do now is we want to, all this code is kind of loosely just floating around. We want to start to structure this so that it's going to be more compatible with, uh, with this code base when we start to merge these together. So you'll notice, you know, in this code, we got a main, right? And then we have these initializers for initializing each of the different global object types. We want to get some of that uh, goodness into our code base. Uh, do we need to really have like this kind of long type of comment here? Um, you know, I don't know. Um, these kind of comments do take up a lot of space, but it, I don't know, it could be helpful. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take it, you know? So right up here, we're gonna put those uh, global objects at uh, the top, and we're gonna just start cutting and pasting some stuff. So um, what else do we wanna take? So this initialization, let's uh, take that, and um, that's gonna go into some type of main function, right? So uh, we could have like a function main, and we could just dump dump that right in there, right? Um, I guess technically we had some slight different indentation the last time we did this. Um, you know, I'm not gonna. Uh, I don't know. Um, let's try not to make this look too shitty as we're cutting and pasting. And, um, so I just cut and paste this in here. Okay. Now, all of this OpenGL code, uh, what does this actually represent, all of this logic we're doing? And... It kind of represents a, um, a default implementation of OpenGL that's good for my purposes of just getting like a canvas that we can use to set pixels, right? Like I'm using OpenGL to set pixels. Um, so all of this code should be into some type of like um, OpenGL context wrapper. And uh, let's see if I, um, if my, if that's actually a ver recognized by my shortcut script right now. So open GL context wrapper, and it probably isn't. Oh, damn. Oh, almost, almost, almost. Um, so open GL context wrapper, and then GL context wrapper. And a context wrapper, what I mean by that is I mean like an open GL, um, context adapter it's basically just like some type of thing that's gonna um it's basically gotta turn this down a little bit the opengl context adapter it's just like a a way to kind of like encapsulate um it's it's the same thing as our canvas adapter in a sense right we want to encapsulate all of that platform specific information into a container we can pass around in our code uh, to make it a little bit easier to uh, change code in the future. Um, so I'm just gonna write GL context adapter and then, I don't know, GL context adapter and open GL context adapter open GL context wrapper and uh, GL context wrapper, right? Just gonna write a whole bunch of things like that. 
And then I believe I'm going to call it adapter underscore and then graphics. So adapter graphics, graphics will stand for OpenGL. And then I have a few other adapters from some other code bases. So to try to make sure that all my variable names are consistent and play nice with each other, I'm gonna have an adapter com for compute and that's going to be for uh, OpenCL, and uh, wait, hold on, Ada, and then, and then I also have an adap adapter for Vulkan, so VUK for Vulkan. Uh, the reason it's VUK instead of VUL, right, the first three uh, letters, is because L, like if you have the right, right font installed, you can tell the difference between a 1 and an L, uh, but uh, with this particular font, even though it differentiates between 1 and L and uh, I well, and also the J's, uh, the problem is in isolation, I can't tell the difference. I can only tell the difference between an I, a L, and a 1 if I see them all right up next to each other in this font. So I wouldn't say this is the best programmer font because... Or at least to me, I don't like this shape. There's different shapes I like for lowercase l's. Um, it's either Andale Mono or Anonymous Pro, which has um, really good differentiation and distinctiveness between uh, ones, l's, and i's. <clears throat> um, but like I said, obviously this is unique when you compare it uh, right here, but you're only seeing this in isolation. So, um, you know, if you saw this, like, okay, it has a curve, so I guess. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's not too bad. It is a programmer font, but um, this looks scarily close to a one, how a one is written in other fonts. So I just don't like to, um, it kind of sucks that I have to change variable names based on the fact that, you know, everybody was taught how to write properly in grade school. And then somehow one of the easiest things we learn in like, what, first, second grade, uh, none of us can fucking get it right. And so no font actually displays the letters properly as we were taught. Like, I don't I don't understand that. Um, but anyway, so we have our context adapter for OpenGL, but we're going to name it more generically as the um, adapter for graphics. And if I do graphics adapter, like in this order, it's going to tell me that I uh, uh, have it backwards. So we're going to do ADA and then graphics for adapter graphics and paste line. I'm going to take all of this stuff and we're gonna just go paste that on one line. Whoa. We're gonna paste it all on one line so that the next time I'm asking for some type of context adapter, context wrapper, I will be able to, um, I will be able to, you know, see it. Um, so I'll put that there like that for my reference. And then we'll just go back over here. We're just gonna keep on hashing this out. And right now the goal is just to organize the code, organize what we already have. So what does all this represent? Um, we're setting up an object or a class, I think, because there's a lot of configuration in here and a lot of intermingled parts and uh, also, we have the like uh, the um, this GL object. So I'm gonna consider that if we want to categorize all of this code here, if we want to categorize it somehow, is it data like generic data? Is it a function or is it a more like a class slash object? And I would call this a class because it's a mixture of functions and data. Uh, and we need some type of name uh, for this, which we already have. So I'm going to create a function called function, um, and we could call it a uh, uh, new adapter 
graphics, right? And then, um, new adapter graphics. And we will uh, paste all this code in here. And I'm going to change the indentation here, put it right here like this. Because we don't, our, uh, obviously we have a little bit of wonky indentation going here, but the thing is, is I don't, I don't want to deal with changing the indentation of all of this right now. Um, because that's, that's going to be a, um, a task. Um, that I, I just, I don't want to, I don't want to deal with it. So we're going to take this, and, uh, do we also want to take all this as well? Uh, isomem, yeah, so, oh yeah, yeah, oh boy, we want to take, like, all of this. All of it, take it all. And it's not going to be exactly organized how we want it, but we're just trying to get a start. Uh, okay. So all this, we're gonna take all that, throw it in there, and now because it's such a big, big kind of thing here, we need to, uh, say like, um, maybe AG for adapter graphics, or graphics adapter if you want to, uh, Graphics adapter would obviously be more English and more normal way to talk about it. Um, but the reason why I chose adapter graphics is because I also have a context graphics and I also have a DLL graphics as well. So I'm trying to stick with that general to specific kind of a thing. And um, this order was determined by... I initially was going to call it, you know, graphics adapter like that, but then I was looking through some old code, and to be consistent with some old code that I also uh, may end up using later, I'm going to stick with this order, ADA and then graph for adapter graphics. So adapter graphics, and then we'll say that it is below. It's A's and G's. And then we can scroll all the way down here through all of this stuff. It'd be like, wow, that's a lot of stuff. Oh my god, how did that happen? How did I let it get so out of control? I thought we just wanted to draw some triangles. I thought this was OpenGL, not Vulkan. How did you do this in almost a thousand lines of code? What the hell are you thinking? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, we'll change this below to above, just to let us know that this, this scope or region that we've kind of defined is above. Uh, after that, uh, we're gonna have to make sure we haven't broken anything, because we definitely have broke some stuff, right? Because this is now wrapped in a function, and that function is not getting called from anywhere. And, uh, we have these calls here, but we don't have these functions defined yet, I don't believe, right? Um, nope, we don't. So we should grab, um, uh, File new init global whatever's init init global uh, um, I already know what I'm looking for. Um, so I'm just making up uh, some more synonyms on the spot, so that next time I, uh, you know, look for this, I can kind of find it. Um, init global. Uh, so a non-plural version of that. Okay. 
So I know it's uh, because I've put it in my comments here. I kind of know what that's called because this is a shortcut for that. And uh, these functions as well, I put uh, put the um, or maybe I didn't. Oh, you know what? It's that these actual function names I made into shortcuts, I believe. Oh no, here we go. JS GW body. So if we do like. Um, JSGW and then body. JSGW body dash edit. And I guess it has code in it. Yeah, it has code. We're going to take this to start with. And we'll modify that. But uh, while we're here, we're just going to say pick JSGW <coughs> vars JSGW. Uh, body and then J, J S G W and then it was like I forgot what the other one was. So if we go Control F J S G W vars, there's body variables and init. That was those were the three main commands. So and then we'll just. Okay, and so this is basically, so um, all of these things I've written, all that stuff that I've written on this one line that takes up a lot of space, those are all possible function names um, that I could be using, and I want to whittle them all down and converge them onto the function names I've chosen for that concept, right? So I want to like reduce the search space in my code by having a method to converge all this terminology. Um, okay, so I just put that in my shortcut script. And let's take uh, these. So I like the basic structure we got here. So we can take, um, what we can do for now is we can keep it empty, right, like this. And really, um, In the future, we should, our snippet really should be empty. Um, but this, I get why I did it this way, because it helps give me a context of, you know, uh, by having an actual implementation of the snippet, it lets me have a feel for, like, how it's supposed to be used. So I get why I did that. But, um, uh, global data, global functions, and then the global classes, right? So we'll take this now that it's all nice. Um, and um, what we might want to do is um, this is JSGW body. Uh, we might want to, uh, where is that in my code? Hold on. So I'm looking at my shortcut script right now, and I just want to see where. Okay, snips, JS snips, global whatever. So I'm going to save a co this copy in um, JS snips, global whatever. And then I'm going to have like a GW body dot um, blank. All right, so it's the same thing as the previous one, but there's no implementation in there. And... Um, for now, I'm not going to worry about being able to find this easily in my shortcuts. So I'm just going to enter it as GW body blank and GW body blank with no spaces. And maybe just body blank as well. And body blank, body underscore blank. And uh, paste file. Okay, so now that we have this, we're going to just take. A copy of that, put that on the clipboard, and go into here, and we'll just uh, paste it down. Uh, well, okay, well, main really should be first, because that gives you the highlight of what's going on. Um, okay, and then we have these different containers. And this um, new adapter graphics. Uh, we're considering that kind of like a class. 
so we will take it and put it in here. So we can do 